Google Analytics is a useful tool for understanding how visitors interact with your website. In this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate Google Analytics into your website built with SvelteKit. To do this, we're first going to grab your measurement ID from Google Analytics. Then I'm going to walk you through the integration code. And finally, we're going to verify that everything works. So the way that Google Analytics works is that your visitors are going to go to your website. Then your website is going to download a library from Google. And then we're going to use this library to send data back to Google. Google Analytics will aggregate all of this data, and this is how we're going to get useful insights out of it. So in order to tell Google what site we're logging from and how we want our data aggregated, we need to send them a measurement ID. Each property in Google Analytics has a measurement ID, and it's going to be out of scope to explain all of that and show you how to set up your own Google Analytics account. But I do want to show you how to get this measurement ID because we're going to need this later in the video. So if you go to your property in Google Analytics, go to admin, go to data streams, and then click on a data stream, you should see a measurement ID here in the corner. Hold on to that. We're going to use it later in the video. So now that Google knows how to aggregate our data, we now actually need to send it to them. So the first step is to download that Google library into our website. To accomplish this, we're going to use the layout.svelte file, which works as a template for every page in our SvelteKit website. This is going to be useful to us because now every page will have analytics on it. So inside of that layout file, we're going to be using the Svelte head tag. This is going to allow us to inject code into the output HTML documents head tag as well. This is useful for downloading external libraries like the one we're using from Google. So now that we have the library on our site, we need to actually use it to log data back to Google. To do this, we're going to be using a script tag within that same layout file so that we can run the script on every page load. The first thing we're going to do is check if the window is defined. This is going to be a defensive maneuver against server side rendering. If this page were to run server side, then we wouldn't have the library loaded and this would result in an error. By first checking if the window is loaded, we won't run into this edge case. So once we know that we have a window available, we're going to actually instantiate the Google library with gtag. After that, we're going to log our measurement ID to it. And this is going to send all of that data to Google in a way that it will know how to aggregate it. Now, there are a lot of moving parts here. So it's important that we go through a validating step just to make sure that everything's working as expected. So to validate, I'm recommending doing an end-to-end -end validation here. So first serve your website, uh, localhost is going to be fine for this. And then just go hit that site with your browser. If everything's working as expected, we should be sending data to Google and we should be able to check that in the real time page of your site's reports section. So here's an example of a site that is getting real time traffic. You can see that we have more than zero here, one user, and that's what you want to see if this is working like it should. All the source code that you saw here will be available on my website and I'll put the link in the description. If you want to see how this works with a fully functioning web app, including its full source code, you can check out CloudSeed at cloudseed.xyz. I'll make sure to put the link in the description for that as well.